she's contacting the spirits of her ancestors who have gone to the happy hunting grounds, asking their advice. I hope they advise you to sell me the White House. First thing I'm going to do is take them cannons away. Yeah, looking down the mouth of a cannon every day must be awful scary. Not the sitting hog. She is fearless. Even General Custer couldn't drive her from this spot. He tried, did he? Rode in here with his cavalry, yelling, shooting, waving their sabers. But she never budged. Spunky little woman. A bravey so impressed General Custer that he called her Courageous Adversary, a name which has stuck to this day. I'd have called him a few names. <laughs> ah, Sitting Hawk got her revenge. She told her cousin Sitting Bull. You know what happened to Custer? <laughs> What's that? It's the deed to the White House. Oh, good. <laughs> Sitting Hawk. Poughkeepsie. Pale Face Wigwam. Sequoia. Manitoba. Ah, she has decided to sell the White House to the tall farmer. Oh, I'm right to Tallahassee. Ask her how much she wants for it. Yucca Lumpum. Uno Alligator. Ah, he and the spirits have arrived at the price of one million. Tell her it's a deal. Caracas. Venezuela. Write the check. Oh, uh, shall I make it out to Sitting Hawk? Yes, but include the name bestowed on her by General Custer. That's Courageous Adversary Sitting Hawk. Well, I don't hardly have room for that. Just use the initials. That's the custom here in Washington. Courageous? Adversary? Sitting? Oh. Well, what do you know? Comes out just like the other check. C-A-S-H. Oh, what a coincidence. Ain't Second Hawk gonna get the money? Of course, but first I have to change it into beads for her. Here. Here's your Waukegan. Ah. Uh -huh.